I'm not sure how to say this, but the process of making art isn't perfect or easy or fast. Sometimes I need to try again and again and yet again to match imagination to reality. But it's through this incredibly personal process that we become brave. Welcome to my artist vlog, a place I can share my creative studio days, challenges of an artist, and my big wins, but mainly my thoughts. I have a lot of them, and I hope you feel less alone listening. Sharing our art to the world is almost like being naked when everyone else has their clothes on, but I can choose to stand up tall and keep walking towards new adventures and goals, or I can run and hide. It's all up to me, and it's up to you. I'm in the middle of reading Daring Greatly by Brene Brown, and it's been picking me up on days that I feel like hiding. It has expanded my understanding of what it means to be vulnerable and exposed, but also know that it's not a bad thing. She mentions the quote by Theodore Roosevelt that inspired the title of the book and her research, and it is one I have to share with you. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly. Seriously, this is what happens when you work by yourself. You just end up talking to yourself. The best conversations talking to myself. Am I still recording? Yes, I am. This week was filled with moments of both highs and lows. Moments I felt proud and moments where I felt uninspired. Like I was in the arena too. I had successfully converted my first comic into an Instagram post and shared it. I did a little prayer and cross my fingers before I posted it to make sure that it would reach the right people. And of course, get higher likes because that means it's better, right? As it finds its place among the many Instagram feeds of people all over the world, I focused on one thing, an illustration I started too long ago, about two weeks too long. It was a good distraction and I finished it a few hours later with a big smile on my face. I challenge myself to think outside the box and be okay with exaggerating proportions, colors, and things that normally don't go together. I struggle with the idea that my art needs to make sense, and I think that it takes away from the magic of our imagination. This fear, my struggle, it was part of this illustration. It told a story about a little bunny who was so scared that she hid underneath the leaf of a towering flower. She vowed to stay there until fear went away and she was willing to wait a long time. But the little bunny's biggest cheerleader, the bear, lifts the leaf from the bunny and reminds her that she has to choose to rise from her fears, that it's time to reveal her crown to the world, even if it didn't make sense. My productivity continued to the next day when I recorded a book tour of the books I bought from a book sale for my patrons. It still feels a bit weird to talk to the camera, but considering that a few months ago, I was deathly afraid of it and the year before that, I avoided it every chance I got. I even tried to charge a sponsor more money to show my face, 
So today, I am proud of how far I've come. And I want to invite you to meet them and join me behind the scenes too. These book sales, I, oh my gosh, I love books. I love, 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 love books. The only thing is I have, <laughs> do you know how some people, they can watch movies and they can recite lines from movies just off the top of their heads? Well, I don't remember the movies I watch and I only remember a few lines from books that I read, lines that really stick to me. The next day, I started the morning reading the last chapter of Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. This book is absolutely amazing and it is a great source of inspiration if you need it. In the last chapter, he writes that the way to get over creative block is to simply place some constraints on yourself. It seems contradictory, but when it comes to creative work, limitations means freedom. After hearing that, I built my makeshift desk out of throw pillows on the kitchen counter and I got to work. Actually, I picked up my Apple Pencil and then I gave up. There's a detail I didn't tell you about that particular morning and the day before, and I'll tell you as I imperfectly art journal some goofy illustrations and process my thoughts the day after the uninspired day. The day I gave up. After I shared my book wins on Patreon, I also shared a post I was so proud of on Instagram, and it didn't do as well as any of my other posts. If you decide to go looking for this post, I have to first tell you that some of you might think it's not bad at all and that I'm out of my mind. So I have to tell you that it wasn't about the actual number. That Instagram post made me realize that I might not be able to fulfill my goal as soon as I expected. I expected a linear growth, higher number than before, better, but it was actually worse. And I checked it first thing in the morning. And then I fell into the scrolling rabbit hole, comparing my life and work to others yet again. It's part of my perfectionism habits, and it's something I talk deeply about in my past videos and on my website. And I have been able to unlearn this habit the majority of the times, but I still go through it sometimes. Someone once said that we spend our entire lifetimes unlearning habits we learned in childhood. This is an example. I felt like I wanted to quit. I felt uninspired. I felt like I wasn't good enough. I wanted to run and hide. I was embarrassed. I wanted to delete that post. And because it fell short, it meant that I fell short. It was also the part that I stopped recording. I didn't plan on sharing such an unproductive day in this video, but now I wish that I recorded what I did, what I thought and what happened. So maybe in the future, I will have the courage to do so. But for now, I'll just tell you what happened as I work on my tote bag design. Yes, I am designing a tote bag. What? It's for my shop launch happening very soon. So sign up to my email list to hear more stories and stay in the loop. Okay, anyways, so what happened on the day that I was feeling uninspired and unproductive? How did I get here, happily designing away? Well, when I shut off my camera, I actually went back to scrolling some more. It didn't feel good and I was exhausted from absorbing so much information and my thoughts just kept coming. Not so good thoughts. And they just kept me scrolling more and more and more. It was like an addiction or an obsession. Imagine that there are two me's, one on my left shoulder telling me to keep scrolling, my inner critic saying you're not good enough, happy enough, or wealthy enough, and then my other me on my right shoulder, tugging my hair and my ear, hoping to get my attention and listen, telling me to stop scrolling and go do something to give my mind a rest. I can't remember how long it had passed, but I was so tired that I had to stop. And I finally felt the little me on my right shoulder yanking me out of it. Enough to get my sneakers on and go for a walk. I know it sounds super weird and crazy, like I'm crazy, hence why I stopped recording. But years of practice helped me with the most important thing that day. And that's awareness. I wasn't blind to the fact that I was scrolling. I was literally fighting myself. And this awareness is what pulled me out. My eyes also started screaming at me to look at something real. After walking for 45 minutes, I felt like I've been reset. Like I've created space between the inner critic and me and I accepted that it happened and it's okay. It gave me a moment to rest and reset and to really deal with some of my deep thoughts. 
to change, I'm not good enough, to I'm doing my best and how can I help someone today? And for the rest of that night, I just enjoyed the time I had. I wrote down what I wanted to do the next day and I was okay. Hello. I need to go grab my jacket because it's, I think, about 64 degrees in here. Actually, just not sure. I have goosebumps right now. Goosebumps, can you see goosebumps? Look at that. Yes, so cold in here. Heating is, I mean, my logic is, why would I turn on the heat when I can just wear a jacket? Save some money right there, so that, you know, all I have to do is put on this jacket. Look at that, I am now, much warmer. Okay, let's go back to work. And this leads us to sharing my very first tote bag design to some beautiful souls, my patrons, and the beginning of these thoughts that you heard today. Without everything I felt, this wouldn't have existed. I believe that every day is full of choices that could change the course of a day and to even your future. There will be good days, bad days, and the so many memorable moments in between. Take breaks and create imperfectly, but be brave and keep sharing your magic into the world because we all need more of it. It is about time I go for a walk. It's 2.55. Wow, my brain has been so stuck on Procreate that I have not remembered how to read time. It's 2.25. And I finished my tote bag design. There's three options. I'm gonna post it on Patreon. Well, you looked me in the eyes and you said it. And your face can say it all. So I know you meant it. And if I lose my way, when I know it. Okay, so I'm gonna go onto these websites, no issue and realthread.com and see which one I like. Better Real Thread allows you to use two color inks. I designed my design to use one color ink so I can save some money. Otherwise, it starts adding to the cost and I have no idea whether or not these are gonna sell because I'm just getting back to everything. So um, they might not sell, they might sell. They're just so pretty though. The designs are so pretty. Doesn't matter if they sell, right? Because I will make them sell. I have the entire year to sell them. So I better sell them. If not, I'm gonna sell them on the corner of my street. <laughs> gonna happen, it's gonna happen. So, no issue, I did some research. Um, their bags are a little thinner, but I did email them to ask them how much weight it can hold and whether or not it's strong, and that's really important. So, apparently they say that it can hold, I don't remember the exact weight, but it's pretty good. They say it's really strong. Um, being thinner, maybe it's not a bad thing because you can really fold it up and put it into your bag or your purse or something and it's not bulky. So it's not like those super thick canvas totes. So I'm gonna do some more research. I don't know if I can get samples, if I even wanna do that route instead or just pick one, order it and see whether or not we like it. And um, if we don't, then we find another supplier and then we design another one. So it's, you know, no problem. So I'm going to upload my design or actually I'm gonna Photoshop it because I need my patrons to vote and help me decide which one I like better. I really, really, really like the one where there's a solid circle in the back because it makes the design so much more bolder, more bolder, more bold than just having the crosshatch drawing. I mean, the crosshatch drawing is so cute and it's so, so dainty but I feel like on a tote, when you're carrying that around, you wanna, you wanna show people what's on that tote. You want people to ask you, excuse me, where did you get that from? That's what I want. Yeah, so let's just, let's mock this up. So I'm gonna mock this up and see what it looks like and then I'm gonna show you what I'm working on too.
Okay, guess what? I finished creating the mock-ups for my tote bags and I just posted it on my Patreon so that my patrons can vote on them, see them, and then it gives me time to think about which one I like best. Right now, the winner is B3? Actually, no, it's a tie between B3 and A3. And those are the darker designs. And I, I still don't know which one I like better. I think that is all that I want to film for this video. And I'm gonna go and edit this video. But before that, I'm gonna go for a walk. I need to get out of the house and get my body moving so I can get the ideas running again. And then on my next studio vlog, Let's call this a studio vlog. I still don't know if I want to call this a studio vlog, an art vlog, artist journal. I don't know what this is, but I'm documenting my days, my milestones, what I'm doing to overcome some pretty low times and how I enjoy the high times. And so um, please subscribe. It feels really weird asking that. I'm really humble, so I don't, I don't like it, but yes. If you want to follow my journey and see what I'm creating and see where I take myself because this year, I gave myself this year to be super successful and success for me means a stable financial income. It means being able to take care of my mom and buy her a brand new SUV. Like that's, oh my gosh, if she's watching this, I hope she, she does not watch this part, but she most likely will so you can just say hi to her in the comments but i would love to just buy her whatever it is that she wants and buy me whatever i want and uh, i'm really frugal so normally i don't buy a lot of stuff i like to sell things make money and then you know towards the new stuff but anyways that's my goal this year so if you want to follow along please subscribe hit that bell notification button and join me on my journey sign up for my email list on my website go check out that Thing. I spent so long working on that, all the details in there. Imagine me like just doing that. So go check that out and enjoy the world that I'm creating. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited about what's in store and I'm gonna work really hard and really smart to get where I need to go. And I really hope to inspire you guys while I'm on this journey because I want everyone everyone to do everything that they ever dreamed of doing and not being afraid of doing it so thank you for watching today and i hope to see you next time come join me come join me come join me on patreon come join me everywhere just come join me and i'll talk to you guys later 